Hey everybody. So in the past, we've looked at how the Fender Stratocaster and Telecaster fare as heavy metal guitars. But what about the hollow body? Let's find out. So during the Can You Play Metal on a Tele video, one of the things we talked about was how the Telecaster was designed as a solid body specifically to reduce the feedback that would naturally come from a guitar which amplifies its own sound. Now, when we're talking about the semi-acoustic or hollow body guitar, we're not talking about an acoustic guitar with a pickup in it, but no, what we're talking about are guitars that have a sound box, meaning the guitars amplify naturally through the body and are fitted with a proper electric pickup with the intention of playing it through an amplifier. The big difference between the two besides the look and design is that an acoustic guitar naturally amplifies considerably louder. First, a little history. In the 1930s, guitar players began wanting to add more volume to their instrument, especially when playing in orchestras or large jazz bands, where it was very easy to get drowned out by the horns and the drums. But it wasn't until the invention of the electromagnetic pickup, which registered vibrations directly from the strings, that the modern electric guitar was born. As far as guitars go, by the mid-1930s, there were already solid body guitars floating around made by Rickenbacker. But the first widely popular electric hollow body came from Gibson, the ES-150. ES standing for Electric Spanish. What set it apart was the pickup it used at the time, known as the Charlie Christian pickup. This pickup consisted of a coil of copper wire wound around a black plastic bobbin. The design allowed for one of the cleanest signals available at the time, and with this pickup, the ES-150 became popular with jazz and blues guitarists at the time. Another interesting development came in the late 1950s with the Rickenbacker 300 series. This guitar featured a sleek slash-style hole rather than the traditional F-hole. Since then, the hollow body has seen other improvements and variations by manufacturers over the years, such as better electronics, new body designs, and seven and even eight string models. So, if the semi-hollow body were a metal guitar, surely we would see some more famous guitars playing them, right? I mean, hollow bodies have a pretty decent feel, but does their design make them sound okay for metal? There are a lot of famous rock and blues guitarists who have used the hollow body prominently over the years. Paul McCartney, John Lennon, B.B. King, his later Lucille models of the guitar removed the F holes to reduce feedback. But what about metal players? Wes Borland used one on Limp Biscuit's chocolate-flavored Starfish album, Tom Maxwell from Hell Yeah uses them, and even Ted Nugent played them for most of his career. So we've talked about the guitar's history and how some prominent people use hollow bodies, but how does it actually sound? To help me out with this series of demos, I've brought in my good friend Christian Bay to put a couple of guitars through their paces to see just what kind of tones you can get for metal. We've got two hollow bodies on hand, a modern seven string custom made by King Blossom Guitars, and probably the only seven string hollow body I have ever seen, and a traditional jazz guitar by Eastman, complete with flat wound strings, because I have absolutely no idea how flat wounds are gonna sound on a metal track. <laughs> Of course, none of these tones mean anything if they don't come together in a full mix. Check this out. Okay, that was pretty interesting. Now let's check out the Eastman with the flat wounds.
Okay, a little sludgier, a little darker, but it does work. It's not the optimum solution and probably not my first choice for metal rhythm tone. The lead tone was quite excellent, however. As for the King Blossom, I think it's up for the task. It might not be the first thing you think of when you want to track metal guitars, but it certainly doesn't disappoint. But I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment below and let me know which guitar you preferred. Take it easy. We'll see you next time.